I don't understand. What don't you get? Stella, no matter how many times you try to tell me, pink is not a good color for a boys' room. <laughs> Fine, whatever you say, Emma. <sighs> Why does she always have to disagree with me? My own sister! Hey, Stella, you seem a little on edge. Oh, it's just Emma. She's working on my last nerve. Can I ask what she did? Well, Seth, our little brother, gets to pick paint colors for his room. And Emma thinks he should go with blue. But I think pink is a much more cheery color for any room. Well, all right then. I'm not going to get involved in that. But you do realize everyone has disagreements. Well, yeah. We disagree with our brothers and sisters, our parents, and our friends. What about when your mom wants you to clean the house, but you want to play outside? Well, uh... Or at school, when your teacher wants us not to talk, but you want to talk to your best friend. Uh, well... Still, there's always lots of people who don't have the same ideas as us, or like to do different things than us. Here, maybe this may help. Um, Amy, where did you go? Let's say this vegetable oil is you. Ew! Why can't it be something better than that? Can't I be ice cream or something? Play along, Stella. Fine. Okay, you're this vegetable oil. Alright, that's you. Ha! I changed my looks, didn't I? I guess so. If we add more oil to us in the jar, it makes it very easily. And that's like the stuff that you'd like to do, or the ideas that you have. If a friend at school wants to color an art project green, it's well, that wouldn't happen. I like pink. <laughs> All right. If a friend at school wants to color an art project pink, and so do you, then you'll mix well. Or if Emma and Seth want to watch the same movie as you, then you're not going to disagree. But if we add vinegar to the mix. <coughs> Please 
tell me why pink is not a good color for a boys' room? Stella, I'll talk to you later about this. We have plenty of time after church is over.